Texan Global School. Rational Numbers. Reducing Fractions. In this class, we will analyze the concept of equivalent fraction and the processes to simplify or reduce fractions. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic indicates that each composite number greater than one can be expressed as a product of prime numbers in one and only one way, apart from the order of the factors. Remember that prime numbers are those greater than one, divisible by themselves and by one. In the set P, the prime numbers less than 100 are shown, some of which are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc. On the other hand, composite numbers are those natural numbers greater than 1 that are not prime. In any set A, we represent some examples of composite numbers such as 4, 6, 8, 9, and 10. Let's look at an example. We must find the prime factors of 30. The suggested process includes writing 30 and next to it a vertical line. On the right side, we will write the prime factors that can divide 30. On the left side, we will write the result of the division. Some helpful information to obtain prime factors indicates that a number is divisible by 2 if it ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. As we can see, 30 is divisible by 2 since it ends in 0. Therefore, we place the 2 on the right side and divide 30 by 2. We obtain thus 15. Now we will look for a prime number capable of dividing 15. In this case, another helpful piece of information states that a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. As we can see, if we add the digits 1 and 5, results 6. 6 is divisible by 3. Hence, 15 is divisible by 3. We write the 3 and divide it, thus obtaining 5. Finally, a number is divisible by 5 if it ends in 0 or 5. Thus, the last prime factor is 5. We can see then that the prime factors of 30 are 2, 3, and 5, because its product results in 30. In this other example, we will find the prime factors of 56. We will repeat the process. 56 is divisible by 2 since it ends in 6 or an even number. Then, 56 by 2 is 28. 28 is also divisible by 2, thus obtaining 14. 14 is also divisible by 2, obtaining 7. Finally, since 7 is a prime number, we divide it by itself. Thus, we conclude that the prime factors of 56 are 2, 2, 2, and 7, since the product results in 56. Another essential concept is the equivalent fraction. Essentially, two fractions are equivalent if they represent the same quantity without sharing the same numerator and denominator. That is, they will have a greater common divisor k included in its numerator and denominator. Hence, to simplify a fraction and thus obtain a reduced equivalent fraction, we must find the prime factors of the numerator and denominator. Later, cancel identical factors which are the greatest common divisor. Remember that the greatest common divisor will be the largest integer capable of dividing a set of numbers. It is obtained by calculating the prime factors of each number. Subsequently, the product of those prime factors that share all the numbers will be the greatest common divisor. Let's look at a first example. We will obtain the greatest common divisor of 12, 20, and 28. As we mentioned in the process, we will obtain the prime factors of each of the numbers separately. The prime factors of 12 are 2, 2, and 3. The prime factors of 20 are 2, 2, and 5. The prime factors of 28 are 2, 2, and 7. As we can see, all numbers have the same prime factor, which is 2. However, the greatest factor is 4, since it is the largest integer that can divide all the numbers. In this example, we will simplify the fraction of 10 over 15. First, we obtain the prime factors of the numerator and denominator. The prime factors of 10 are 2 and 5. The prime factors of 15 are 3 and 5. Then, we cancel identical factors. In this case, it is 5. As we saw previously, 5 is the greatest common divisor of 10 and 15. So, when canceling that identical factor, an equivalent fraction results, which is a simplified fraction. We conclude then that 10 over 15 is equal to 2 thirds. In this last example, 
we will simplify the fraction 45 over 27. First, we find the prime factors of the numerator and the denominator. The prime factors of 45 are 3, 3, and 5. The prime factors of 27 are 3, 3, and 3. Then, we cancel identical factors. In this case, it is 3 and 3. As we saw previously, the greatest common divisor of 45 and 27 is 9, since 3 times 3 is 9. So, when canceling that identical factor, an equivalent fraction remains, which is a simplified fraction. We then conclude that 45 over 27 is equal to or is equivalent to 5 thirds. Texan Global School. Global Online Learning. Knowledge for the World. www.texanglobalschool.com.